All right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi back at the track for another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to choose the correct running shoe. And it's not as easy as you may think. It's not about just going down to the store and picking up the newest pair of Nikes. You actually, there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. So stick around, this is gonna be very helpful for you. Okay, so when it comes to choosing the right running shoe, there are a couple of things that you really need to take into consideration, okay? So number one, uh, how you pronate when your foot lands, um, the supination of your foot, and um, the height of your arch, and also to some degree the width of your foot. So I'll just show you what those things are very quickly. So first thing is pronation. Um, people who pronate means when your foot lands, and your ankle actually rolls in. And what that, hap what that means is when you push off, you're pushing off mainly just through your big toe. And if you don't have a shoe that, uh, that fixes that, you're gonna have issues with your ankle, with your inside of your knee, and also probably with your hips. Um, supination means when you land, you land and then your ankle comes out, and then you push off the small toes on this side, okay? And so um, that's gonna cause different issues as well. And then there's the neutral landing, which is um, mainly how my foot is, which is where, this is what you want to happen, where you land, your ankle stays straight, and then you just push off pretty much the entire front of your foot, okay? Um, so those are the different pronation, supination, and then neutral. There are shoes that are made specifically for each one of those things, okay? So um, that's something that you have to understand. Next is your arch, okay? So um, one way to look at your arch would be to uh, take your sock off, get your bare foot, put it in a thing of water, and then uh, set it on a surface that you can see what it looks like, okay? So um, depending on how it looks. If there's just like a top and bottom and there's no middle section, that means you have a very high arch. Um, if there's about half the middle, is about half the width of your foot, that means you have a pretty solid arch or a normal arch. I'll put a picture up on the video here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then um, if you have a flat foot, it'll be like almost the entire um, surface of your foot is touching, then that means you have a flat foot and there's shoes that take care of that, okay? So um, what I would recommend is go down to your local shoe store and have somebody who knows what they're talking about take a look at your foot. They'll put you through a couple different tests. Sometimes they'll try, have you try on shoes, they'll have you run on a treadmill, they'll um, take a look at your arch, they'll take a look at you walking, and basically they're looking for the things that I'm just talking about. Now that was like super generalization. I'm not like a foot expert by any means, but I just want you to understand a little bit of how much goes into play whenever you're choosing a running shoe, okay? So, like I said, go down to your local place that knows about running shoes, have them put you through the paces, and then they'll recommend shoes for you, okay? So, um, you know, whether it's Asics, um, I used to use the Gel Kayanos, they were really good for neutral people. Um, there's also shoes that are help for if you overpronate, if you supinate, all that kind of stuff. So you really need to just go down and check it out and see what the deal is for you. Um, also, I wanna note that a lot of people really like to buy just like the newest Nikes or whatever. Um, Nikes for me, I didn't really find to be very useful. Their Pegasus were about the only ones that I could actually run in. Now, nowadays you see me running in the fly knit racers and stuff like that. That's mainly just because of how they look. Uh, I'm not training anymore, so it doesn't matter for me. Um, but I remember when we were at Penn State, um, we were sponsored by Nike as a school. And so we had to choose from Nikes. And one of the years we as a team chose the Nike Shocks. It was the first year they ever came out. Maybe I'll find a photo and put it up for you. Um, and they ended up being horrible for running. Um, they were super heavy. The shock, the way that it was designed was somehow sending the shock into our legs instead of absorbing it. And a lot of us were getting shin splints and it ended up being a complete nightmare. So um, there really is a lot that goes into it. And it's like I said, it's not just about what he's wearing or whatever Usain Bolt's wearing or whatever I'm wearing. You really need to look at yourself and you need to figure out what your certain situation is with your foot, with your stride and all that kind of stuff and make a good educated decision, okay? So that's pretty much all I have to say when it comes to running shoes. I'll do a separate video on track spikes because that's a whole nother thing all in itself. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if it is. Share this with your friends and family who are athletes, who are runners, who are track athletes. Um, and I think it'll be very helpful for them. Um, hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing. And dear God, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. It's crazy sometimes thinking you can own a piece of the world. It's just
explode. 